Welcome to Average Mike's guys and today we are going to be installing this hitch receiver on my Cub Cadet RZTL, I think it's a 54 inch mower, zero turn. Uh, these zero turn turns generally don't come with a hitch if you wanted to uh, tow a trailer or um, a cedar or any really attachments that would go in the back. So. Uh, you have to purchase your own and I for one thought that I would just buy this and take bolts out put it on but it is a little more intense which is why I busted out the camera some people get intimidated by this stuff so um, you're basically going to be pulling the whole bumper off and then removing some stuff and then mounting this and putting it all back together so uh, let's get started Uh, if, if you are still looking to purchase this, uh, there's a lot on Amazon that claim that they're for this mower, but they're really not. They're just generic. You know, if I wanted to drill holes in my bumper, uh, I would have just took some steel and bent it. Uh, it really isn't all that difficult, but this one lines up exactly with the holes here. And uh, this is the third try, third try of getting the right part so if you're looking for this part i'll put the link down below i it was on amazon and uh i think it was like 30 bucks uh 20 something it was 20 something dollars so um yeah so let's get to it first thing we're gonna do is take off i got one two on each side we're gonna take those off and pull this back bar assembly off these four bolts here are half inch size it should just come floor is still on so I'm going to go ahead and switch up to a 3-8 socket. I believe these two hold the muffler on. It's getting really loose now. He's on this side. There we go. Alright. As you can see, this is just a shield. I think. Yeah. So what it came off, it's just it's just bent on there a little bit. You can easily take it off just like I did there. What it came off with the bumper, but that does have to come off anyway. So now we need to take these two off the top here, which holds on the shield. Find our Torx bit. Where's that center at? Here it is. Uh, yeah, T40. If I can get it on my. Now, obviously, this can all be done with hand tools. It's just a little easier with the power stuff. That's one. Two. Okay, so now they do give you new hardware. Two bolts, two nuts, two wash, four washers, four washers. There you go. So I think the original bolts. Actually, you know what? Honestly, I don't think I need any of that hardware because I think. We can reuse the bolts that were there. And I'll tell you why. So these, this heat shield is what the old, uh, the 
old bolt, old T40 bolt screw into. They're actually screwed into that. Although I'm wondering if they did that because maybe it's not strong enough. Up to you. I don't know what you're planning on using it for. I get, I, I think I get why they did it. It's just, the problem is this bolt is not going to go through that hole. It's actually the same thread. Yeah. So these, this thread here, obviously this, this nut's gonna be a whole lot stronger. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use the bolts. If, if you really wanted to, you could grind this down flat so that uh, generally most people aren't gonna do that. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just, again, put this up. Uh, take my nut, my washer, put that there, put that there. Washer, nut. Instead of trusting these, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this stuff on, put the nut on. Kinda gives it a little extra, I'm not gonna tighten them down too hard, a little extra uh, strength, a little more strength, and I won't lose it. So if this does end up breaking loose, we can go ahead and take this back off, modify it. I really, you're not gonna tow too much on this thing, right? I mean, the mowers, you shouldn't be towing that much on it. All right, so, oh, we have to put, all right, so that piece is on. You can slide these in the rails. Like that. Screw. On real quick, hold it, please. And... Oh, oh, broke that one. That's why you maybe you shouldn't use impact. I just busted that screw. So, let's get it up in here. to fix this bolt because that's gonna rattle but no big deal we'll fix that later somehow <laughs> all right let's get something uh, attached to this thing all right so there you have it guys nice easy job uh, nothing to be intimidated about just don't use your impact gun on those little tiny bolts and you're good to go uh, we're all set up getting ready to seed for the fall season actually it's Getting close to winter season, but we had a nice day today. So uh, we got the aerator and cedar, and uh, let's get to it. Uh, hopefully, this helps anyone out looking to add a hitch to their Cub Cadet or any other zero turn mower. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.